Hey, what's up guys? So today uh, we're starting a, a quick project. Hopefully it's just a one day turnaround. We're doing a 2008 dash swap in a 2001 truck. You know, that's the most simple dash swap there is. Hopefully, you know, we can just turn this into a one day turnaround. It's definitely gonna be a busy day today. Um, he sent me, uh, he, he supplied his own old harness a new harness and I'm gonna chop them up and make one thing. It's just, uh, I was going through his old harness that we thought was the same, but this is end up being off a of 2001 and it's not gonna work for his nine or his, his early 2000 truck. So, you know, this harness being off by one year threw off everything, you know, and then plus this, this harness did not have a power package. So it doesn't, it's not set up for power windows, power locks. So this harness is not gonna work for his truck. Um, usually 2001 and up, they have this blue plug. He needed a red plug. And um, I actually had the harness for him that he needed. But um, one good way to check, you know, if you're gonna get another harness for your truck so you can keep driving your truck while I build you something, you know, always check the part number. So on the harness next to the firewall, the three plugs, here's his part number. So he's got one C31. And then usually that 14401 means it's a dash harness. Usually that's what they mostly say, I guess. But um, that's the part number. And basically, you know, we need you need to check this part number and make sure it matches your dash harness, unlike this guy who made this mistake. But you know, it's kind of I'm gonna take half responsibility for it too, because you know, I should have known that, but you know, I'm still learning as I go, so. Today we're gonna to show you how to remove a dash. So. Getting, uh, that, the fender well? Yeah. You just gotta manhandle it. So he's taking out the fender well lining so we can get these three plugs on the firewall. Now these three plugs are only for 99 to 01s. 02 and up, it's a little different. So we're starting with that. We're unplugging the brake pedal. We're unplugging the gas pedal. Unplugging the airbag module. Unplugging the body plugs. We're getting everything. What are you looking for? All right, so we're back in here. So when you don't have to take the glove box off, but you can because it's easy. Um, one thing we're gonna undo in here is uh, that's for the dome light, it looks like it broke. Um, we're gonna undo this plug and then undo this plug. And then um, that's really all you need to get out from here. Usually I take the radio out because this stays with the truck. You can see it's hard lined in right here. So you're gonna have to fight this cord, getting it out. And then um, you got your air module. What else we got? Uh, I think that's really it for this side. So let me go ahead and then other than that, there's two bolts on that side, there's two bolts over here. There's one there, one there, and then you got one here and one over there. So let me go ahead and we're gonna undo all these bolts and this dash should be about ready to come out. So the hardest part that he's doing right now is the three plugs on the firewall. So other than that, I mean, this dash comes out as one piece. Oh, and the shift cable, that'll be a bitch too. And she's out. All in one piece. Like I said. So take them out in one piece. Right, Axel? All right, time to take this harness out and start building us a dash. I still know how to get this harness out. Uh, you can unclip it mostly from this side, but then here in the column stuff, you're gonna have to take apart some a couple things on the dash. So, uh, you just really need to remove this bezel and basically undo the column. Um, and then undo that bolt, that bolt, and then there's one there, one there. Um, but that's really all you need to do. Just get this bezel off and basically get the column out. And the rest should be pretty self-explanatory. Unbolt the OBD2 port and then boom, there we go. Undo the headlight switch. Just start unplugging shit. Okay, once you get this bezel off, you get the column unplugged. Then you can pretty much get to everything and pull it out and we got our harness now we can start building it so hell yeah all right now this is going in the garbage okay guys so now we're starting a new video um we're gonna start building the dash with the harnesses and all the good stuff finally getting to the 
the build and the custom stuff. So we went, I went ahead and got, this is the fuse box out of his truck. I already modified this end to work with my little kit. You can see I already got my brackets mocked up. So you should be able to get this in here. Check this out, man. So these are the brackets for the fuse box. You'll be able to just hold it right in place. All right guys, so just a little update of what we're working on right now. So uh, right now I have him stripping the dash harnesses. Um, right now I'm gonna start building his mirror harnesses for his full power mirrors. Um, see, he's stripping the old harness and we got the truck gutted. Um, he laid a couple layers of deadener. And so one thing that we did is uh, he didn't have power seats on the passenger side and he didn't have anything for the center console. So we went ahead and added that. Um, the only thing this truck had on the floor at all was power for the driver. So we just piggybacked everything off the driver's side. We're not going to add a fuse box just because um, I think that, that that would be overkill for what he's doing. He's not running cooled seats. He's not running light bars. He's not running a bunch of stuff. So basically, you see this red wire and green wire. The green wire is going to turn on the inverter on a switch on the dash. And so we're going to add an extra body plug right there. And then the red wire comes this way comes there and then we're running the ground right there for the extra stuff and here's our three wires we're adding so this green one turns on the inverter and then the red one powers the inverter and the black is the ground for the whole the whole center console so basically the red wire is gonna work the cigarette lighter and the inverter uh, basically made our own plug and uh, that's what we got going on guys so right now we're starting to do the door harnesses and he's gonna run the new door panels and stuff so other than that, once uh, once I finish the full power mirrors, next we're gonna do the window switches and the locks and get the doors 100%, and then we're gonna we're gonna start building this dash. So stay tuned. But this thing's coming together, coming together. We started at about 11:30. It's about 4 p.m. So it's gonna be a late night. And uh, we already got the new mirrors on there. He took the old ones off. So I mean, this truck's getting a lot of work done today. We're busting our ass for sure so i'll be back all right guys a little update it's like 9 10 9 o'clock but we got the mirrors all wired up so you can see all my tape going across and then i've got uh, the loom going that way to the new mirror plug and then um same thing going over here i already got the new mirror plugs ready to go got that going uh, that's for the mirror switch i'll do a demonstration later um because i don't have power hooked up um that's for the plug for the old mirrors. Um, got everything running through, taped up, nice and pretty, even taped up in there. So everything's not gonna not gonna hit the window or, or hit anything or get pinched by anything, but not gonna lie, these mirrors, talk about a job. Talk about, whew, whew. But hey, we got them done. So next step, we're gonna start working on the dash, but I'm excited. Uh, we got the fold relay right here. So this fold relay is going to be mounted on the dash. So it's just there temporarily because we were testing to make sure everything worked. And I got all the wires running up here, across here. Now I made my own body plug here. This has the running lights and turn signals for the mirrors. So I'm going to wire this up on the dash for our new body harness we added right there. We're running all across there. And then over there is pretty self-explanatory, but why not? Let's, let's walk the plank. Um, same setup going on. Um, harness coming down here and then run into the old plug and then just running up through the door. Looking beautiful. So I think it's pretty clean, looks pretty sick, but hell yeah. Hi guys, so um, we're about to start this dash harness. Um, for this, sec this is round two actually because I started to wire up that wiring harness. Uh, got to about right there and realized it was the wrong one. So luckily I stopped and get, didn't get too far on that one. And now we got the right one. We've got a strip. She's ready to rock and roll. We go ahead and got our fancy cluster helper. Um, if you're curious, you know, if you already don't know what it, what it comes with, it just, it, it, it literally just comes with awesomeness of awesome stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put this bad boy on. You know, this is the ultimate panty dropper. If you're looking to, you know, drop some panties, this is what you need to get, okay? Um, if you're wondering, you know, where to get it, you know, I, I'm not, you know, just look at the box. That's where you go, okay? <laughs> um, and make sure if you got a diesel, 
you get the boost gauge to go to go with it. The, it's like 50 the extra 50 bucks. Make sure you get it. It does not come with this, okay? Or else your boost gauge on the gauge cluster will not work, okay? Just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna show you how to install that. We're gonna go ahead and work it with my column kit. We got a, a 2000 harness here. We got an 08 one there. I've already got the pigtails actually off that one. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this, but we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop this video here for part one of this 2000 truck. And um, we're gonna, you know, I'll start part two later. So I'll see y'all later.